So I break the skin first. That's already numbed. So there is just the entry with a blunt cannula. So what I'm trying to do is access that space. There, okay, so I'm going to go toward the bridge. So just really at the dorsum of her. <laughs> okay, so put a little pressure there. So I'm doing the thread lift for the nose. So I'm trying to bring that, elevate that no nasal bridge. So I'm kind of already here. I'm engaged here, right there already. And then so I'm pulling out. So this is gonna be several of them to build that that um, space. Put a little pressure in between there for me, but I got it. So I need several cores. Of course, the area is numbed, right? Local anesthesia. And right there, I'm accessing here already. I feel that I'm coming out right there. there so I'm trying to build up that filler effect into that dorsum of the nasal bridge and the threads gives that lift Here already. Good. I feel right there. So this I can all clip as a one. So as you can see, there takes a lot to lift because even though this is a 19 gauge, so it's rather thick thread, but you know, to build a volume, you gotta keep going at it, keep going at it. And there it is, it's it in there. But you can see slowly but surely you have some of this buildup of that nasal bridge. And of course, if we can lift this up here, I'm gonna show you with this. We can lift up the, the tip of the nose and then, then you have that L that's more elevated. I'm trying to feel that L. Is the length of the, the, the longitudinal and this is the horizontal um, of that L. I think it should be a good number.
yeah. This is a uh, good natural. You don't want too excessive, but I think mm -hmm. that's a good thing. What do you think? Um, lifting the tip of the nose. So I'm kind of accessing it downwards to basically almost to the root of the nose or the base of the nose. This is numbed up, so I'm accessing that space. There you go. There, there, good. It picks up that tip, you see that? It picks it up just ever so slightly, but it does. I'm gonna do several struts, so I'll pick it up. Do you see that? It builds up this, this distance. We shall do one more, I think. A nice thing. We can't fix it. So this is anesthesia. We already applied numbing and also did yeah. did the thread lift. So now I'm doing, applying a little bit more um, numbing into the area because I'm going to inject filler as well. So the threads are like rebars and the filler is like concrete. So I'm applying both structural material to make the bridge elevate and then of course to make that strut of the rebar i build up the distance between the base and the tip and that's the, the the threads so there's threads this way and threads this way to build that l and i'm going to put a little more filler like the concrete to make that nasal bridge pop out more rhinoplasty you of course it's non-surgical Surgically, of course, it will be more permanent effect, and then obviously it will be um, more downtime and uh, more money, but it is actually more permanent, right? But this is, um, with filler and threads, it's semi-permanent. It's gonna last because of the collagen that's induced. It will last for a while, but it's not as permanent as a surgical um, you know, technique, of course. So liquid rhinoplasty, we're putting filler right into the nasal, um, I would say this is the saddle. Sometimes we have the area that's a little depressed, right? So kind of build that up with some volume, with filler. I'm, I'm deep, I'm kind of onto, almost right on top of bone. And uh, above it, you have some threads going on. So it's nice to have threads going on and also below it, you have some concrete from that. Um, so you have the, a structural, more stru structural support. Didn't put a lot, you don't need a lot here. Just a little bit will go a long ways, I think. 
Uh, let's see, a little bit more. Tiny more. I feel a little pressure here. That's about it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so what we did here is the non-surgical rhinoplasty. We did it with filler as well as thread lift. So many struts of um, threads are from here, this point, all the way up. So it builds the longitudinal axis Horizontal axis is built with threads that goes from the tip of the nose to the base of the nose to build that distance between the base to the tip. So it lengthens it. So you have that pickup, right? You have this tip of the nose that's a little more elevated. And then also the L of it is less flattened, is more of an acute angle that you want it. And of course, this is with rebars. I like to think of the threads as rebars. The concrete is laid down on in behind it with the filler. So filler and threads built up the non-surgical rhinoplasty are very nice. And this will last uh, typically at least two years because the collagen that's induced in the area, a very natural effect. Um, and it has the optical illusion of actually decreasing the, the nasal base, but I haven't touched anything with the nasal base. Nasal base can only be corrected with surgery, but obviously we're not doing that. But if you pick up the nose, um, you have that illusion that this base is more shrunken, is not as big.